more than 70 years ago was Professor Sintesi Kajubi. And of course, his legacy as a academician, as a scholar, as a, an administrator of higher education is very well known here in Uganda. Uh, but what is sometimes not known is that he was the first participant from uh, Africa. Uh, in the Fulbright program. And so three years ago, we created a lecture series uh, in his honor uh, with his family and with the administration of Macquarie University uh, to uh, discuss topics of higher education. And this year, uh, we had the honor of just completing uh, the lecture series on the role of universities in supporting uh, active citizens. And so I had the privilege of being part of uh, the program and offering a keynote address. Uh, but this is a really reflection of the relationship between uh, Macquarie University and many parts of the United States government in areas of research, in educational exchange, uh, in uh, supporting uh, students to have the skills to grow professionally and be successful. And so we are really honored once again to be building on that relationship. I also was able to announce that we will be creating a Center for U.S. Studies here at the university that we look forward to launching in the coming months. But that's how important the United States took higher education in the 1700s and created all these state universities. We have collaborated with them and we have benefited a lot. After Saint, Professor Sainte Zakajua, of course, a lot of Makerere staff have been trained as Fulbright scholars. But we have also received a lot of Fulbright scholars who have come to work at Makerere University to cement those linkages. So we must pay tribute to Professor Sainte Zakajubi for being the trailblazer for higher education, but also for the great contribution that he made to our